What's up, sports bettors? I'm gonna show you how you can actually make money sports betting. Pretty simple video, straight to the point. Let's get into it. I just hit Rockies Mets over four and a half runs for the Mets at plus 110 odds for a thousand bucks, right? So let's go through this bet as an example of sharp, profitable MLB betting, how you get rich sports betting. This, you know, the profit margin of this bet is over a hundred dollars. So why is this bet so good? right? If you look at the odds that Caesars is giving you on the Mets over four and a half, it's plus 110. Now, every single sports book has the over four and a half runs for the New York Mets heavily, heavily favored, right? Bet Online has this minus 145. Every single sports book, aside from Caesars, has this as the favored outcome. So you can quantify your profit margin mathematically based on the odds on other sports books, and it's 10.56%, right? There will be a video in the end screen kind of detailing the exact math between behind calculating EV, but it should be pretty clear that, yeah, when every sports book is pricing something at, you know, minus 105 to minus 145, and we can pick it up plus 110, this sports book, Caesars, is slipping up, and we're getting an insanely, insanely profitable bet. So what's also interesting is Bet Online has the under four and a half at plus one fifteen odds. So essentially, you know, they move this up to plus one fifteen, but we can run through the example at plus one oh five. So this is an arbitrage bet where you could earn a risk free profit of three point six percent. This game's about to start in like three hours. If you're curious how you make money sports betting, you can earn a risk free. 3.6% return on capital, risk-free, in three hours. How, right? Both of these bets are at plus money. One bet has to win, one bet has to lose, right? The Mets either go over four and a half or they go under four and a half. Now on both sports books, you're wagering $100 to win 110 and 105. So you can imagine if the Mets have, let's say, 10 runs and the over hits, we're winning $110 if we're staking $100 on Caesars, right? And then we're losing $100 on bet online. So we'd be up $10. Same thing the other way around. If we bet $100 on the Mets under four and a half at plus 105 on bet online in the under hits, we would win $105 in profit and we'd be down $100 on Caesars. That's if you imagine betting $100 on both sides, right? That's called arbitrage betting. But what arbitrage betting also means is whenever there's an arbitrage bet and you can make a risk-free profit betting on equal and opposite outcomes due to discrepancies in bookmaker odds, you know by definition there has to be a mathematically profitable bet, right? And here, we're just using real-time data from the entire sports betting market to be like, oh, damn, Caesars plus 110 on the Mets over four and a half is ridiculous value. That's a bet you have to be on. So I hammered it for a grand. And again, like as a sharp, profitable better, you're not winning every single bet. You know, as a sports better, if we look through my account, you know, how you make money sports betting isn't you expect to get rich quick, right? That's not how it works. You're constant. Ooh, we hit this $5,000 bet over two and a half Fulham Brentford EPL play had ridiculous value. Looks like we cashed that on Caesars. Frickin' elite. Um, looks like I had more on it. $7,000. I don't know. I don't really remember betting it, but I remember this bet was super good. Kind of similar to this one. So the way you make money sports betting is by squeaking out these edges, right? Finding bets with an edge. And this bet, very clearly, is very sharp and very profitable on the over. So I locked it in, along with 13 other bets for today. <laughs> so that's the first bet I have. Over four and a half for the Mets team total. Ridiculous value. Then let's get into it. Now, not every sports book gives you the same betting limits, but I locked in Brewers Cubs. Yes, run first inning at plus 120 odds. You can see it just moved down to plus 104. Um, but FanDuel only gave me a maximum bet size of, you know, 50 bucks, as you can see right here. But this bet's ridiculously profitable, right? No other bookmakers giving us better than plus 105 on this. You know, and as a sports better, when you're able to find ridiculous value like this, that means your bet has a positive profit margin, right? And there are videos in the end screen kind of to learn more about the math behind sports betting, sports betting strategies. But like, it should be pretty clear. If no other bookmaker is giving you better than plus 105 and you can pick it up plus 120, it seems like a pretty damn good bet.
So I locked that in. Then we have a UFC play. Johnny Walker, plus 165. I also have an MLB play. So we'll kind of go through exactly how this works and how you can make some serious cash sports betting. So you can see I'm all over the over in the Phillies game tonight, but we're talking about these other bets. So where is this Johnny Walker guy? I think that fight's a bit away. Um, it's actually after the first NFL game. I have my NFL parlays I've given out. Broncos minus four and a half. We freaking hammered, which I think is quite quite a good bet. Where's this Walker guy? Oh, I think they actually locked this market. So can I bet on this? It says fight suspended. Some events are suspended. So I'm going to actually bet on this. So we'll skip over this example. Um, I had the Diamondbacks plus 170 for tomorrow. So we'll add in this to our sheet. Diamondbacks plus 170. We have 2,000 bucks on it. So 2,000 bucks on the D-backs money line. And why do we like it? Again, just look at the value. Well, they actually just moved it down to plus 165, right? No other bookmaker is giving us better than plus 156, right? It's an ARB to bet online at plus 170. So 3.27% profit margin. At least that's what it was at plus 170 odds. So essentially as a sharp better, right? We're looking for bets with value. It's really that simple. Um, you're looking for bets with a mathematical profit margin. So this bet is $65 in, in EV, right? Um, and sports betting is really powerful. The reason I love it and you can make a lot of money is because these returns like 3% returns, they don't jump off the page, but these returns compound and compound every single day because usually games are the upcoming day, at least for the MLB. So MLB is actually a very profitable sport to bet on because if you can earn a 3% return per day, you can just think about your profits, positive EV betting, freaking ridiculous. So I bet the Tigers plus 160, uh, that had a 2.94% profit margin. So where is this bet? So I did bet it. I just have to find it. So we have the Tigers plus 160. Once again, win bet, you know, lowered the odds at this point because they really screwed up and we're giving out a bet that's mathematically profitable with the 2.94% profit margin. So we have the Tigers money line. This was 2.94 and we hammered it for two grand. So that bet has $58 in profit margin, bringing us to 232 bucks in total profit margin. Not sports betting. This is sports investing. So then again, um, this one, I don't remember. This one I skipped or it moved or something. We have the Cardinals plus 135. Another huge pricing discrepancy. This bet is literally plus EV to every sports book. Once you remove the VIG, remove the juice, 2% profit margin, Cardinals money line. I hammered this. Where is it? Cardinals money line, two grand. This is the next bet we have. And we're essentially just like investing right? I mean, we really are just investing. Every bet has a mathematical profit margin. Um, every bet is, you know, positive EV. So it's really just about placing like a lot of bets and you're essentially forming your own hedge fund of mathematically profitable bets. Not every day, you know, you're going to have winners. Not every day you're going to be up a lot of money. But over the course of the long run, if you have the edge as the sports better due to the law of large numbers, you're guaranteed to make money, right? So we have the Royals run line, I think they gave me a max wager of $1,000 on this, and I actually bet it at slightly better odds, plus 105, so the EV would be higher. Um, so the EV would actually be higher, but regardless, I'll be conservative. So we have the Royals run line tomorrow. So we have the Royals plus one and a half with a 1.5% profit margin. We hit this for $1,000, so $15 in EV. Then I think I had a few more, but I don't really remember at this point. This one moved on me. Um, the Mariners one, I didn't bet. The Brewers one, I did bet. The Brewers one, I like a lot too. 8.9% profit margin, no other sports book giving us better than minus 149. This minus 140 is plus EV to every single sports book's market. Ridiculous value on the Brewers money line tomorrow on win bet. So this is also why you wanna have a lot of sports books, right? Like you literally never know when sports books are going to slip up, you know, how often they're going to slip up, things like that. So, you know, ideally you have as many, you know, sports book accounts as possible. So this was 2801 and this is Brewers money line. And then we'll extend this. So um, we got to keep this row going down. So 300 bucks in profit margin on my plays, investing, sports investing, you know, super, super profitable. Um, 
bets from odds jam and then i bet the reds as well which was 0.81 percent so i think we already went through that bet but we'll add it back so again it's just being able to deal with variance right if you can't deal with variance if you can't deal with losing some wagers um you know you're not going to be a good sports better so you should probably learn to deal with variance you know if you want to get serious about your sports betting profits you have to understand that not every day is going to be a winner, but if you're placing bets with a mathematical profit margin, you know, you're guaranteed to make money over the course of the long run, you know, due to the law of large numbers. So we have 0.89 and 0.81. So this is actually supposed to be higher and then that's slightly lower. $328 in total profit margin on these plays and seems pretty good. And then you just rinse and repeat, you refresh, right? You have to constantly be looking for good bets. So let's see what's out there. This one you still can't bet, which is a little annoying, but they locked the market. That's the one we went through. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's kind of profitable sports betting. We bet the Diamondbacks plus 170, they're down to plus 165, right? You're essentially looking for great prices. If you're getting value in the odds, you're getting great prices, like, you're going to make money, right? If we could bet the Diamondbacks plus 200, it's obviously a no-brainer. <laughs> you know, it's just an insane price, right? It's like if we could buy Facebook stock $50 cheaper than it is in the market as an investor, it's like, yeah, that's a stock I want to buy because it's $50 cheaper than all the very efficient betting markets are pricing it at. So it's the same thing here, right? If a sportsbook's giving you ridiculous odds, it means... It's a profitable bet, right? So you just have to make sure there's enough value to outweigh the VIG. And that's how you make serious profit sports betting. I mean, we have $328 in profit margin on our bets alone in this video. So it's really just about placing as many positive EV bets as you can on a daily basis. So hopefully you found this video helpful. Let's make some freaking money.